Do you want to travel the world, fly first class, and save money at the same time? At Prince of Travel, we've flown over 100 first class flights, and we've never paid full price even once. And if you want to do the same, then in this video, we'll share with you exactly how you too can travel the world for $0 in 2025. Now, the first trick to travel the world for free is to focus on maximizing your credit card points. And by this, I mean put every dollar you spend on a credit card as much as you can. You should never be using your checking account or your debit card, except for things like paying bills or withdrawing cash. And the reason for this is that your debit card doesn't actually offer any of the benefits that your credit card does, such as points and travel perks, building your credit history, and travel insurance and more. So you want to put every dollar you spend on a credit card and make sure you're earning points on those purchases, but the next question is going to be which credit cards should you actually get? There's so many credit cards in the Canadian markets and they're well suited to different purposes, things like cashback or insurance or balance transfers, but if your goal is to optimize for travel, then you're going to want to build a core set of credit cards that you use for your day-to-day -day spend. Now obviously this set of credit cards will depend on everybody's different spending habits, but if I were to give a general recommendation for Canadians going into 2025, then the three cards I would pick are as follows. Now we've chosen these three cards because they're the best for unlocking outsized value when it comes to traveling the world, and we're going to explain in more detail a little bit later on in the video when it comes to redeeming points, why we've chosen these three cards and the loyalty programs they're associated with. For now, let's talk about the three cards, starting with the first one, which is a powerhouse of a credit card that arguably every Canadian should own. This card is the only one in Canada that offers five times the membership rewards points on food and drinks purchases, which is a huge spending category for a lot of Canadians. And this includes not just going out to eat and drink, but also going to the grocery store where you pick up your day-to-day -day groceries. Now there's other Canadian cards in the market that also advertise as five times the points, but the key difference here is that the points that are earned on this card are actually a whole lot more valuable than the others. I'm of course talking about the American Express Cobalt card, a card that we love and talk about all the time on this channel just because it's so powerful. The Cobalt card comes with a very reasonable monthly fee of $12.99, and that's more than justified if you're using the card for all of your food and drinks purchases and maximizing the monthly limit of $2,500 spent in these categories. And if you were to maximize that over the course of a year, that's 150,000 membership rewards points right there just from spending on food and drinks using the Cobalt card. So if you're looking to maximize your points and use those points to then travel the world, this card is a must have get it right now if you don't already have it. Now card number two that we'd recommend for this core portfolio is the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite card. And the reason this card is so compelling alongside the American Express Cobalt card is that the Cobalt card's points can transfer one to one to Aeroplan and the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite directly earns Aeroplan points. So your points can actually be funneled to the same program allowing you to build up that balance and redeem towards a flight. And on top of that, what you'll find when you have the Cobalt card is that about 80% of merchants out there take American Express, but there's a subset that don't. And that's why having a Visa card as a backup option is also useful. When you spend on the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite, the points you earn are going to be going to the same Aeroplan account as your American Express points. And plus, if you live in Canada, you're probably going to be flying with Air Canada a fair bit, and by holding the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite, you get a valuable free check bag benefit that can actually add up pretty quickly over the course of several trips, because each check bag these days on a regular economy fare is about $30 a piece. There's a $139 annual fee on this card, and right now, as of the time of recording, there's actually an enhanced welcome bonus on the card as well that you should definitely pay attention to, but we'll go a bit more in-depth on welcome bonuses later on in the video, so stick around for that. Now the last of the three credit cards in this core portfolio is a little bit of a dark horse that emerged in 2024. Unlike the other two cards we've mentioned, this card has a lower annual fee of just $48, which is charged at $4 a month, but it has some pretty unique features that'll make you pay attention. Now the card's name is the RBC Ion Plus Visa, and it's okay if you haven't heard of it because it's fairly new on the block, but the interesting thing about the card is that it gives you three times the points on groceries, dining, gas, EV charging, daily transit, rideshare, and entertainment purchases, including streaming, digital gaming, eligible digital subscriptions, and downloads and in-game purchases. And so if you think about it, the groceries and dining categories overlap with what we talked about on the American Express Cobalt card. It's still a better idea to get five times the points over there, but for the rest of the categories, which is a fair bit of daily spend for a lot of Canadians, the three times the points on the Ion Plus Visa is still extremely valuable, and it's a great way to rack up the points quickly. Now the points that you earn on this card are called Avion points and you can redeem them directly for things like statement purchases and gift cards, but if you want to really supercharge these points and get access to things like the world's best business class airlines or amazing first class experiences that you never otherwise pay cash for, then watch until later in this video we're going to talk about a little trick that you need to know about the RBC Ion Plus Visa in order to unlock maximum potential from the three times the points that you earn on this card. Okay, so we have our core set of three credit cards that we're going to use for day-to-day -day spend and 
and a couple more things before we move on to welcome bonuses, which is when we start adding to the pile of credit cards based on strategically getting welcome bonuses in the market. The first thing is, in addition to the credit cards that you're spending on, you wanna make sure to pay attention to promotions and bonuses within the loyalty programs that you're subscribed to. And a great example of this is Aeroplan and the Aeroplan eStore, which every now and then offers five times the points, seven times the points, 10 times the points when you shop through the eStore portal. Now there's all sorts of retailers available through the eStore, including things like Amazon or Dyson or Sephora. And so you can rack up hundreds of thousands of points without even having a credit card if you time your purchases correctly based on when these promotional five, seven, or 10 times the points events take place. And of course, if you have the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite that we mentioned, then sometimes there's even additional promotions as high as 15 times the points, which can really supercharge your points balance very quickly. And believe it or not, if you're somebody who rents your apartment or a house, you can even pay rent with a credit card through a service called Chexy. We work closely with them at Prince of Travel and we love recommending them to our viewers for the ease of payments and the low fees and the ability to earn credit card points on such a huge monthly expense for so many people. Now with Chexy, you pay a 1.75% fee on top of your rent payment in order to earn points on your credit card, but until now, it wasn't possible to use Chexy to pay rent unless your landlord accepted Interact e-transfer. But that's changing as of now since Chexy's just added support for pre-authorized debit payments, and here's how it works. What they've done is they've created a digital deposit wallet within your Chexy account that's called the Chexy Wallet. And about four days before your rent is due, Chexy will charge your credit card and add those funds to your Chexy wallet, and then when it's time to pay your landlord for for rent using the pre-authorized debit function, the landlord just takes the money out of your Chexy wallet like any other bank account. All you need to make this happen is a valid lease agreement, the landlord or property management company's name, and to complete the one-time setup eight days before your rent is due. Chexy will even give you a void check if you require it for your landlord in order to get set up, and it's a great way to take care of your rent every month whilst racking up the points. Next, welcome bonuses are gonna be your best friend. The credit card companies give you tens of thousands of points just for signing up for a card at the beginning. And if you wanna get the upper hand here, the thing you got to do is to strategically time your applications for when those credit card bonuses are at or near their all-time highs. Now, the big change going into 2025 is that among Aeroplan's co-branded credit cards in particular, you can now only get one welcome bonus per tier of credit card, and there's five tiers in total. There's entry level, there's core credit cards, there's premium credit cards, and then there's small business entry level and premium credit cards. So over the course of getting credit cards, you're going to have to be very conscious about which credit card within each tier that you optimize the welcome bonus for because as of now, you can only get one per tier. And so as you're scouting out for the different offers available, you want to keep an eye out for the all-time highs or temporarily high enhanced welcome offers. In this case, among the core Aeroplan credit cards, the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite is actually the one that right now has an enhanced welcome bonus of up to 50,000 Aeroplan points. Normally, it's only about 40,000. And so this would be a good example of a card to sign up for before the enhanced welcome offer expires on January the 6th, 2025. It's a great way to kickstart your points journey going into the new year and and you know you're getting a relatively good deal out of the one-time opportunity to get a core Aeroplan credit card out of the five different tiers of Aeroplan credit cards available amongst the 11 or so cards in total in Canada. Now, the other thing to know about strategically getting welcome bonuses is that this is where a lot of the premium credit cards in Canada come into play. Now, the premium credit cards tend to be geared towards big spenders and frequent travelers and business owners. So if that's you, then by all means, take a look at these cards and see which one of them will fit your lifestyle. However, even if you might not get value out of these credit cards, year after year, there could still be a lot of value on the table, especially in the first year. A lot of these cards have welcome bonuses in the range of 100,000 to 120,000 or even 150,000 points. And even though the annual fee is about 500 or 600 or $700, the value of those points in the first year still justifies those fees, especially if you're looking to rack up the points quickly and go for one of those amazing first class and business class experiences. Now, when it comes to strategically getting welcome bonuses, there's a fair bit of nuances to understand about when to get the credit cards, which credit cards to get in the best order and so on and so forth and it's actually in our Prince of Travel Platinum membership that we go a lot deeper on some of these details and the strategy involved. So if you're interested in upping your game and elevating your travel experiences all while saving money at the same time, check out the link in the description below to join our Platinum membership. Now one more fantastic strategy that pairs well with welcome bonuses is what's known as refer a friend bonuses and these are pretty much exclusive to the American Express ecosystem of cards but when you give a friend or family member your personalized referral link and they sign up for a card you actually get points points just for referring them. And this can be a very powerful way to rack up the points. For example, the American Express Gold Rewards card gives you 7,500 points just for referring a friend, and the Platinum
platinum card gives you 10,000 points. So as you can imagine, if you just refer a couple of friends, you already have enough points for a free flight. One last thing about welcome bonuses, typically the higher the bonus, the higher the fee, and also the higher the minimum spending requirement that's needed in order to unlock that bonus. This is usually something like spend $5,000 or $10,000 in the first three months of holding the card. And you might be thinking that's a whole lot of money to spend, perhaps outside of your usual budget. And so the other thing to think about when it comes to strategically timing your applications is to think about any large purchases that might be happening in your life and time a credit card application around that purchase in order to meet that minimum spend. Examples might include a home renovation or a wedding or tuition for your kids or something like paying rent on a month on month basis using Chexy that we talked about. As long as you have a plan for meeting the spend, go for that welcome bonus in order to unlock those sky high points amounts. But if you don't have a plan and apply for the card and fail to meet the bonus, then you're shooting yourself in the foot. So be careful when it comes to applying for the card, make sure you have a plan in place. Okay, we have a core set of credit cards to spend on day to day. We have a plan to strategically hit welcome bonuses. And the last thing we need is to make sure we're redeeming our points on the right things at the right time. Here's how it works. And to do this effectively, you need to be planning ahead and thinking about the trips that you wanna take in the next six to 18 months or so. Here's how it works. First, think about that trip you wanna take in the future and go through all of the details. Which destinations do you wanna to go to? How many people are you traveling with? Which class of service do you wanna fly in? How flexible are you with respect to the dates and destinations? The more flexible, the better, by the way, because it's not always easy to get the exact flights that you'll want using points. So if you have a set of options that you're okay with, rather than just one flight that you want, that's gonna make it easier to achieve the outcomes in the end. Now, when you have the details of the trip, you wanna figure out how many points it's gonna require in total. And to do this, you're gonna to have to study the rules of the airline loyalty programs to figure out about how many points you're gonna need. For example, if you wanna to go to Europe next summer and you're based in the East Coast, then if you take a look at the flight rewards chart with Aeroplan, then you'll see it's about 70,000 points one way for a business class flight over to Europe. If you're looking for a solo trip, round trip, that's about 140,000 points. If you're a couple, that's 280,000 points and so on and so forth. Maybe you're flexible with doing business class one way and economy the other, in which case the required number of points would be fewer. Once you figure out the number of points you'll need, you wanna devise a plan for how to earn those points. And this is where you start applying the strategies that we talked about earlier in the video. Spending day to day on the right categories, on the right cards, as well as strategically timing your welcome bonuses to make it happen and get to the number of points that you need to book the trip. Don't forget referring your friends to cards of their own, as well as shopping through the Aeroplan e-store in order to supercharge your balance. And by the way, this part is where it's important to understand why we chose the credit cards that we did, because there's a whole bunch of credit cards that you can apply for from banks like BMO and CIBC and Scotiabank, but those cards don't actually get you to elevated travel outcomes. With the American Express membership rewards cards, with the TD Aeroplan card, and with the RBC Avion family of cards, these are the points programs that can not only be redeemed directly for travel, but can be transferred at a one-to-one -one ratio to a range of airline partners where you can actually supercharge the value of those points and get those business class and first class flights. With most programs out there, when you earn the points, they're worth at most one to 1.5, maybe two cents per point each, which is not really that impressive. But with American Express and RBC, and if you transfer them over to Aeroplan, British Airways, Air France, KLM Flying Blue, and so on and so forth, you can unlock superior value by redeeming for these elevated experiences and get about a five, 10, maybe even 20% return on your day-to-day -day spend compared to the cash price of these experiences. And that's where the power of points really comes into play and what really makes this game worth playing in the first place. By the way, remember that trick about the RBC Ion Plus Visa? Here's what you gotta know. The Ion Plus Visa's Avion points can actually transfer to the airline partners on their own. Instead, what you gotta do is after you've racked up those points, upgrade your Ion Plus Visa over to the Avion Visa Infinite card and then those points become transferable to the airline partners. And that's what allows you to book into these special experiences like Qatar Airways Q Suites, the world's best business class with caviar and rosé champagne and the finest service that you'll find in the skies. Now, this is not to say that the other cards issued by Scotiabank and BMO and CIBC are not useful because after all, they'll still have elevated welcome bonuses of their own from time to time and you may wanna apply for them as part of your overall strategy. But the best way to think about these cards is that they're supplemental to the primary outcomes. You're here for the business class and first class flights and the luxury hotels. And then you can use the points and bonuses from the other credit cards to save on your overall out of pocket costs on other travel expenses, things like Airbnbs and Ubers and grab bikes in Southeast Asia. Now, in fact, in the next video, we're gonna be going even deeper on all of the major Canadian credit cards and we'll be ranking them in a tier list to figure out which ones are superior and which ones probably aren't worth the time. So I'll see you in the next video.